Something's concealed. Our doctor may not believe in ghosts, but this journal was torn by a spectral hand. for help if you need it. I hope whatever's in there is intact. The ghost was after Evelyn, not her bag. Spectral stain. Lead back to camp. Mistress Fitcher was something of a physician back in Yorkshire. I wonder why she left. Maybe she had no choice. Looks like her patients deserted her. Intriguing. I wonder why. You're back. Why, Mr. Switcher, whatever is the matter? Uh, I was home, working. 
All of a sudden, the book in my hands was torn apart. What does the devil want with me? Not the devil, but a ghost. You must know it now. Till lately, I would never have believed such nonsense. This never would have happened in Yorkshire. I've passed through Yorkshire. Seems nice enough. Why leave? Why does it matter? To understand why someone is haunted that helps to know a little about them. Fine. I came to treat the sick and chase the devil from New Eden Town. My cousin, Nicholas Doolin, and the Lord keep him, said the town needed doctoring. I took my chance. But when the devil came a-knocking, well... We were forced to leave. For a rationalist, her faith in God and the devil is strong. Did Thick Skin ask you to join her group? Nicholas spoke to her for me. She knew my worth. It was difficult to leave New Eden Town. But I'd left one home behind. What did it matter if I must leave another? Did you leave family behind in England? I left my sister there, yes. Things between us had soured. Rather than try to fix the unfixable, I chose to start over. Unfixable? Why? She was to wed, and I opposed it. It was the mistake of her life. I would not lie to comfort her, and she would not forgive me for it. That's good to know. Though I don't yet understand how it relates to your haunting. Mind if I look around? I'm aware this is your home. I've no wish to trespass. If you must, you may. Do tread carefully, hmm? I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banisher. If you let him. Whatever the ghost wanted, it made quite the mess. You must break the engagement. First, I'll thank you for your concern. Second, I shall refuse. Felicity and I shall marry. You have the pox. You'll infect your wife and both of you will die. So cease your nagging and do your job. Cure me. Quite the contentious consultation. The patient in question must be our ghost. He had syphilis and didn't take it serious. She took that personally. This could be useful. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? Be the sister. The ghost is connected to this picture. Time to summon him. Turn out and turn up. Focus, Red. Hear my voice and show your face. Why am I here? Oh, that was a clever trick. Now you see me, you lucky things. Can you hear me too? Aye, we can hear you. We've not met. I've seen your likeness. In the picture, you seemed in better shape. Well, now, that's not very polite. Who are you, anyway? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGrath. 
Geoffrey Rawlins, me, pretty as a picture, near as pretty as you, my lady fair. We're banishers. Looks are not high on our list of priorities. Banishers, are you? How very attractive. I wager you smell good. I wager you smell dangerous. I like you. The portrait. It's very good. Whose work is it? Evelyn's. My sister-in-law to be. Also, in all but name, my physician. A mark of her affection, perhaps. Was she dear to you, too? Evelyn? Dear to me? <laughs> no. Her sister Felicity, yes, very dear. Dear, dear Felicity. Dear Felicity. My wife-to-be had fate allowed it. Yes, I was intent on marrying Felicity and would not be deterred by some midwife's trifle. Mistress Fitcher knew you had syphilis. Is it any wonder she would oppose your marriage to her sister? She was the doctor, my lady fair. All she had to do was cure me. All right, we have work to do. Stay put, Mr. Rawlings. I'm a pleasant man wronged, and I'll not be tamed. Not I, my lady fair, not I. Dose makes the poison. The answer is here somewhere. What news, my lady fair? Draw me a picture, tell me a tale. What can you tell me about your illness? Don't worry your pretty head about that, my lady fair. It is nothing, nothing at all. If the pox was nothing, then what killed you? Why, it was love. I had fevers. Sunlight would hurt my head. I had tunnel vision, my lady fair. And I did not like it. Then one day, I could no longer speak. My legs refused to work. My muscles rebelled against me. And in the end, so did my mind. At the last, there was a pain. Like someone reached into my chest and crushed my heart. I did not like that either. No, I'm no expert, but that doesn't sound like the great pox to me. The pox was nothing, old man. Nothing at all. I was a fool in love. When your symptoms worsened, did Evelyn change your treatment? No. She upped the dose. With what did she treat your lesions? Salts and powders, powders and salts. And did they work? No, they did not. Too much sulfur rots the brain, and Geoffrey says he lost his mind. No, the other symptoms don't fit. Powdered quicksilver, perhaps. Too much affects the muscles and makes one's heart rot till death occurs. That's it. Powdered quicksilver. Mercury salts. And Mistress Fitcher increased the dose. Poisoning, perhaps? Wait. What? A poisoning indeed. And not by carelessness. She is not a careless woman. Are you telling me? That Evelyn Fitcher, Mistress Fitcher, the midwife, my sister-in-law to be, poisoned me. I'm gonna kill her. Geoffrey Rawlings was obnoxious before. Now.
Do you think she killed him? Yes, I do. She swore to protect and use her knowledge to kill. No shame. What would you have done to save your sister from the pox? Right. No sister talk. I understand. Joffrey Rawlings, stand away. Mind your own business, me lady fair. to hell. It's over. They're gone. By God Almighty, what on earth were they? I know who haunts you. Your ghost is the spirit of one Joffrey Rawlings. Oh, Lord. I thought I knew the voice. I thought I glimpsed his face. He was your patient. Syphilis, I believe. Yes. But this was years ago. You didn't like him. Did you let him die? Do I look careless to you, sir? Yes. I stole a few months of Geoffrey Rowling's life to save decades of my sister's. You acted from love for your sister, but the choice was hers, not yours. What would you have done? Knowing you could save a loved one's life, what would you have done? The good lady doctor has a point. Let's get to the bottom of this. You've both made your choices. Now it's my turn. Joffrey Rawlings. Selfish, reckless, and impenitent. You did not listen to Mistress Fitcher. You did not listen to your doctor. She poisoned me! She did. Perhaps you should consider why. Alive, your self-seeking put your bride at risk. Dead, you're doing the same to her sister. She poisoned me! D does that not count? It counts until the moment it doesn't. That moment, Geoffrey Rawlings, is now. Hear me, and be gone. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. Oh, ghosts are real. We did tell her. <laughs> 